Hi, this is Millie, and I'm back to show you some, something different than I usually do. I'm going to call this today um, creating imp impressionistic uh, flowers um, with maybe mixed media. I, I want to tell you how I decided to do this. Uh, just yesterday, I was sitting here and and I had a blank piece of paper uh, in front of me, and I said to myself, "I don't feel like painting anything special today, so I think I'll just kind of create something, you know, something that's never been created by me before." And I just kind of. Uh, thoughts were going around in my mind about that. So anybody can do this. I think even if you're just a beginner, uh, you could try this and it is relaxing, it's fun, and it's also uh, something you don't have to struggle with. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. If it doesn't turn out, so what? Um, just put it in with some of the others that you don't like. And you know, I get a lot of them I don't like. But this is practice and this is, and that's how you learn to paint, by using um, a lot of different experiments. And that's what I do. I experiment. If you notice on my videos, I have a, a, quite a few videos now about I think it's 230, 230, and I try to make something different every time, and it's not easy. So today I thought I would just show you something that's just one of my things that I like to do. And when I get through, I'll show you the, uh, the one I did yesterday, and um, uh, then I'll show you um, the end finish of this painting. So just hold on and let go. Okay, I'm starting out with my uh, paper flat. Uh, just then I'll go to easel. But this is the 140 pound Arches um, cold press paper and it's um, I've cut it in half, so I kind of wanted to work a little smaller today. So, um, uh, first of all, what I would do is take one of these brushes here. I don't know whether to use a bigger brush or... I think I'm going to start with a, just a light color because... But this is... I don't know what I'm going to do, see. I'm, I'm just sitting here thinking, well, I got something that's different than I usually do. I'm going to paint different. And it's kind of hard to do when you've been painting so many years. But anyway, I, I'm just going to use a little lavender, lilac, and I'm going to think about this is going to be impressionistic flowers. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I'm going to think and start placing uh, just a few little places. And I want always to go off the edge a little bit and possibly um, a nice big one right here. And um, maybe I want it to go up to this top and make these a little smaller maybe a couple of them up there. So it comes like this. And, and you know, I might have some falling over the edge also. Okay. Now, that is my beginning. And I've just filled up my... This is the... Um, if you can see this, this is my tray that I like to paint. I filled it up with colors 
Now don't ask me what colors these are because I just get them out and put any color in that I look, that I kind of like. And you can do the same. You don't have to really worry about, oh, I got to use this color or I got to use that color. Come on. Now you notice as I put it on, I'm not wetting my paper. I'm just, my, my brush is wet. Uh, and I'm kind of leaving, you know, where I drew. Okay, I'm, I'm leaving that white because it's going to be part of the blossom. See, I haven't planned anything at all. So now you just have to kind of bear with me. Um, I'm just kind of going into and um, okay, I got that started. And let me see, um, I want to kind of go into my uh, more of an orange. Oh, that's nice. See, I mean, I want different colors in this because this is impressionistic. And, it's, and then you can kind of splatter some of that on over here. I went into opera and I put it with the orange and that made that pretty bright. Okay, I'm going to bring some of that up here like that. Okay. It's just kind of, you know, it's just kind of not knowing what you're going to do, but isn't it fun? I mean, to me it's fun. I just pick up some colors that I like and I put it down. I, if that's not the color I want, let me see. Let's try this one. Oh, that's, that's that opera. And is that ever bright? But where can I put a really bright color? Probably right there. It's a little bright, but add some water to it and kind of spread it into this other. And I've got to paint around. I'm going to also bring some of it into into uh, the others. You see how that goes? Now I'm going to change my thoughts here because I don't want all the to my purple. Oh, you know, I'm a purple person. And I like purple and a bit of blue to it. And it's kind of dark, but we can always, and you know, remember I said this is impressive, and um, I'm going to have to put something over here, maybe down in here, because you can't just go from that color. You can, but I'm going to, I can change it because I'm using a mixed media today. I have these little uh, bottles of ink that are very nice, uh, they're Windsor Newton, and um, you might want to get a set of them, they're, they're, you can get them at Michael's, and um, this is a green, or emerald, and um, it's uh, about eight colors there. Now another thing I want to do, is while this is kind of setting a little bit, I'm going to kind of put a little texture of water in here. You see what I'm doing with a brush? I'm just kind of hitting water in it. It's going to run. I'm going to go back with the gold and I'm going to just kind of add some little strips of gold in here. Do I know what I'm doing? I'm having fun. I don't know for sure what's going to turn out, but you know, that's the, fun, the fun of it is not knowing if this is going to turn out to be anything that you really like. And if you don't like it, you can just, you know, toss it in with some of the others you don't like. Other things you can do is maybe take up some paint there. I've seen this before, and this is really handy. You know, it's, um, you can use it over and over, and, and it does take up See, it takes up the water, and you hit it. I thought it was just a little bit too 